Prop Wash video, I'm Werner Kopp, and I'd like to welcome you to El Dorado Dry Lake in beautiful southern Nevada and the 1991 QSAA fly-in. The Quarter Scale Association of America was founded in the late 70s to promote interest in very large model aircraft. Its headquarters are in Las Vegas, and there are 26 local chapters. Every October, members from all over the world bring their latest creations to El Dorado for the biggest event of its kind anywhere. Before we get into the program, we'd like to whet your appetite by showing you some of the beautiful aircraft you'll be seeing. So sit back, relax, and most important of all, have a good time. This very large Stuka was built by Bill Hempel Sr. Bill's from Tucson, and uh, he built this aircraft from his own design. It's a fairly heavy bird, weighing in at 45 pounds and having a wingspan of 118 inches. The power plant is a Zox Dolmar 5.8, turning a 24 by 12 prop. As you can see, even with 45 pounds, 
The uh, power plant is more than adequate to give this aircraft superb performance characteristics. A DGA-6, Mr. Mulligan. It was built from a nose and kit by Roger Shook from Basalt, Colorado. It weighs 20 pounds, has a wingspan of 110 inches, and is powered by a Quadra 35. The radio on this particular aircraft is a Futaba, and it's covered with coverite. A beautiful L4 grasshopper owned by Roger King from San Antonio, Texas. Roger built this very large bird from factory plants. It weighs 42 pounds and has a 140 inch wingspan. We were unable to get the name of the pilot of this beautiful ultimate, but we do know that he brought it all the way from West Germany. And what a performer this bird is. Walt Clark built this Aranka Champ from a bud nose and kit. The aircraft weighs a very light 16 pounds, has a 105 inch wingspan, and is powered by a Zenoa 23. Rick Maida from San Jose, California is the owner of this F4U2A Corsair. It was built from a bud nose and kit, weighs 48 pounds and has a 108 inch wingspan. The engine is a Zox Dolmar 5.2 turning a 24 by 12 prop.
beautiful inverted flyby. You may remember from our 1990 QSAA program that uh, something very unique happened to this aircraft during a flyby just like this. If you missed it, here it is again. Now watch very closely. And there goes half the stabilizer assembly. Believe it or not, Rick landed the aircraft safely and as you can see, it's been repaired and flying as well as ever. Bruce Tharp from Montezuma, Iowa is the builder of this one-third scale spacewalker. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is a model of an F-82, which really had two fuselages. Jerry Kickard built this bird from his own plans. It weighs 36 pounds and has a 123-inch wingspan. The engines are quarter 35s. As you can see, it's quite a performer and the spectators were absolutely thrilled by Jerry's aerobatics. And here are some of the booths that the vendors set up. This year's fly-in, there were over 100 vendors present selling everything from uh, kits to t-shirts to hats and other hobby supplies. This is Dick Heining, owner of Proctor Enterprises and an example of one of their many fine kits. Thomas Lindemann from West Germany brought this large OV-10 Bronco. As you can see, the detail is just excellent. Mr. Lindemann used his own plans. This Bronco weighs in at 66 pounds and spans 118 inches. The power plants display 6.6 .6 cubic inches each and the props are 22 by 12s.
it powers back, landing gears down. I don't know if he has flaps on this or not. He might have. He's letting it descend nice and easy, keeping it level, keeping that speed up. Now it's starting to flare a little back on the stick. Nice touchdown. And this is the one you've been waiting for. A half-scale sop with pup built by George Vogelsang from Hagen, Germany. George always brings something spectacular to Las Vegas. The airframe is all metal welded construction, stressable to 20 Gs. Flying weight is 70 pounds and the wings span 127 inches. The power plant, are you ready for this? Is a 27 horsepower Limbach turning a tiny 38 by 10 prop. Not much of a ground run needed here. This aircraft has a superb smoke system. Yeah. 